Thank you, Aaron. Welcome to a subsequent e-seminar titled How Low Can You Go? Reviewing the levels of detection needed by semiconductor industry. Some of you might listen to our first seminar in this series dedicated to improving MSMS specificity using a quadruple-based reaction cell in ICPMS. An overview of the current state-of-the-art MSMS offering uh, was then discussed, so I will give only a brief summary of benefits and key features of the Nexion 5000, a new multi-quadruple ICPMS model. Components of the system would be described and several acquisition modes shown. Finally, performance of this tool will be demonstrated on a few examples. Perky Nelmer has a long history of ICPMS instrumentation. After extremely successful ELAN models, a new chapter of Perkin Elmer ICP instruments was opened in 2010 by the introduction of the Nexion 300. It was a benchtop unit with quadruple ion deflector, triple cone interface, an auto XYZ stage, and a new synthetic software. These design changes led to an instrument with much higher sensitivity and lower backgrounds. In 2017, the Nexion 2000 was released. It has an extremely small footprint, a new solid-state RF generator with a new load coil design and three gas channels. During this time, a new software model with nano and single cell capabilities was introduced. This, along with many other innovations, have kept Perkin Elmer at the forefront of application advances. And now, in 2020, we are proud to add the Nexion 5000 to the Perkin Elmer line of mass spectrometers. Over the last 37 years, great improvements in quantitation happened. Elemental sensitivity has improved dramatically, instrumental background electronic noise has dropped significantly, BCs have been lowered, not only by a better ratio of background to signal, but also by dramatic interference reduction. In 1983, sensitivity for one PPB was 100 counts, and now is over 800,000 counts. The background noise from 30 counts was reduced to below 1. The Nexion 5000 key benefits are accuracy due to outstanding spectral interference removal through control reactions in the universal cell and the triple quad technology, detection with sub-PPT VCs in the hot plasma conditions for alkali, alkali earth and transition elements, Throughput, thanks to a superb long-term stability and an extended dynamic range, and productivity due to low maintenance requirements. The schematic of the 5000 shows this unique four-quadruple system with several new patented hardware components. Carefully designed rods of Q1, Q2, and Q3 quadruples produce a perfect hyperbolic field delivering an optimal resolving power and a high ion transmission efficiency. Several ways of operations are possible, single quad, triple quad, and multi quad modes. Let's talk about some components of the 5000 in details. A new triple cone interface, TCI, has three major components. Platinum tip sampler, common design for all Nexions, and platinum tip skimmer, new design for the 5000. Both cones are grounded. Nickel hyper skimmer and gold plated omni ring with unique voltages is one piece non demountable assembly. It transmits the ion beam into the quadruple ion deflector. It could operate in three different modes extraction mode for great sensitivity, focusing mode for the low BCs cold plasma mode for easily ionized elements suffering from argon and argon based interferences. There are four quadruples 
in the 5000. First quadrupole, QID, called Q0, removes photons and neutrals. This is first mass filter, which transmits a selected mass range of interest and could reduce matrix loading on Q1. Also, it requires no maintenance. Second quadrupole, called Q1, can serve as ion guide in single quad mode or mass filter in MSMS mode. It has custom resolution down to 0.3 AMU. Its peak hopping and scan speeds are equivalent to Q3. Both Q1 and Q3 are software control with automated mass calibration and resolution. Third quadrupole, Q2, is an integral part of the universal cell with dynamic bandpass filtering capability. It controls reaction and improves reaction specificity. Also, it eliminates reaction byproducts before they can form new interferences. The Q2 has extended dynamic range up to 12 orders of magnitude. Fourth quadrupole, Q3, is identical and has identical function as Q1, so it can serve as an ion guide in single quad mode or mass filter in MSMS and mass shift modes. Using the multi-quad technology, several analytical acquisition modes are available that can be used in one quantitative method. Single quad, Q1, single quad, Q3, MSMS, and mass shift. There are also four scanning modes, precursor ion scan, product ion scan, Q1 and Q3 scans. Here are some examples of different analyzing modes in the Nexion 5000. Single quad mode where either Q1 or Q3 is resolving, MSMS mode where both Q1 and Q3 are resolving, mass shift mode where both Q1 and Q3 are resolving, but Q3 is set to a higher mass than Q1. Scanning modes are very useful for method development. Product ion scan looks at resulting masses of a reaction, and precursor ion scan looks at masses that can create a specific product. Since the introduction of ICPMS, the semiconductor industry embraced the ICPMS technique for measuring contaminants due to its sensitivity and selectivity. Contamination levels are measured in all chemicals and solid high purity materials used in semi-processes. Recently, also single particle ICPMS is used for screening particle contaminants in solvents and baths. Today, consumers demand smaller and faster electronic devices, more compact and consuming less power integrated circuits. To maintain this trend, the critical features of these devices must become smaller and have fewer defects. The small diameter of chip features requires the use of high purity materials. Therefore, all liquid chemicals and solid materials used in semiconductor processes should contain extremely low levels of contaminants. Even ultra trace amount of impurities, including alkali, alkali earth elements and transition metals, can cause defects such as voltage breakdown or high current and finally low yield. Semiconductor industry needs to have a strict control of impurities and that requires to measure lower and lower levels of contaminants, so detection limit and BEC should be as low as possible. The Nexion 5000 ICPMS can offer several key benefits for the semi-industry. These are excellent BECs and detection limits due to a fully controlled reaction chemistry in the universal cell and the triple quad technology. The RF generator designed for stability and fast switching between hot and cold plasma conditions. Clean sample introduction system made from high purity quartz or high purity PFA. And finally, a versatile software allowing combination of several modes in one method 
to quantify analytes at extremely low levels. There are many chemicals and materials used in semi-industry and all of them have to be tested according to specification and places of use by a supplier or by an end user or by both. Just to mention a few groups, cleaning chemicals, photolithography chemicals, etching chemicals, gases, and pure solid or slurry materials. A number of organizations and groups develop and publish standards associated with different semi-chemicals. For semiconductors and microelectronics, Semiconductor Equipment and Material International, SEMI, and American Society for Testing and Materials, STM, have the most comprehensive guides. Generally, chemical semi-standard specifications are designated by grade or tiers that reflect uh, current and future purity needs in relation to scale geometry of devices. Since line width change to smaller, the requirements for maximum contaminant levels are becoming more stricter. To achieve the ultra trace level capabilities of today's ICPMS instrumentation, it is necessary to take care of environment in which samples are prepared and analyzed. The instrument should be installed in a high quality clean room with an extra clean sample preparation area. Ultra purity water should be available. Only pre clean bottles, vials, pipette tips made from PFA, PTFE, or other polymers should be used. Clean sample preparation protocols should be obeyed. First, let's look at calibration curves for selected elements in ultra pure water measured in the hot plasma conditions. A simple linear calibration type without blank subtraction was used here. The estimated BCs for potassium, calcium, and iron are below 0.5 ppt and detection levels are 60 ppq or lower. Here are calibration curves for the same three elements in ultra pure water measured in the cold plasma conditions. A linear through zero calibration type with blank subtraction was used. The estimated BCs for Potassium, calcium, and iron are below 10 ppqs, and detection limits are 20 ppq or lower. The latest semi guide for ultra pure water used in semiconductor processes require detection limits or performance to be lower than 1 ppt for 26 elements essential for semi industry. A red dotted line. The Nexon 5000 detection limits for this element and many others are below 0.3 ppt, which is much lower than the current specifications. If we compare detection limits for ultra pure water obtained in the hot plasma blue bars with detection limits in cold plasma red bars, we can see that DLs in the cold plasma are even lower, all below. 30 ppq. The cold plasma mode is applicable for the elements that have argon and argon-based interferences or whose sensitivity is enhanced by reduction of argon ions in the plasma beam. Now, if we compare BECs in ultra-pure water obtained in the hot plasma green bars with BECs in the cold plasma red bars, we can see that all BECs are below 1 ppt in the hot plasma and that the cold plasma conditions help to lower some of them below 50 ppq. In the previous slide, BECs and DLs were collected using MSMS and mass shift mode. The product ion scan is a perfect tool to examine the analyte cluster formation with a selected gas in mass shift mode. Titanium and arsenic react with oxygen very efficiently. In the left plot, 
the product ion scan of titanium with oxygen in 100 ppt 50 uh, element mix standard shows a clean spectrum with titanium oxide ion formed at mass 64. Similarly, product ion scan with arsenic reacting with uh, oxygen and creating arsenic oxide ion at mass 91 is shown on the right. Next, let's look at spectral interference removal by MSMS mode and bandpass tuning using as an example of vanadium analysis in the presence of high concentration of chlorine. The primary vanadium isotope at mass 51 is almost monoisotopic. Vanadium, chlorine oxygen and chlorine ions are formed in the plasma. Chlorine oxygen ions create a direct spectral interference on vanadium at mass 51. Chlorine ions first are being reduced in the QID and then completely rejected by Q1 that filters only ions at mass 51. So vanadium and chlorine oxygen ions enter the universal cell pressurized with pure ammonia. A charge transfer reaction between ammonia and chlorine oxygen create a neutral a chlorine oxygen particle and uh, ammonia ions. Chlorine oxygen as neutral particle leaves the cell. The optimized RPQ parameter makes ammonia ions unstable and rejects them from the cell, preventing uh, clusters uh, uh, with ammonia being formed and further reactions. And finally, the vanadium ions reach the detector and are measured free of uh, spectral interferences at mass 51. Analysis of impurities in hydrochloric acid can be challenging. Not only vanadium, as it was shown on the previous slide, but also chromium suffers from spectral interferences in the presence of chlorine. Chlorine hydroxide ions have the same mass as chromium, mass 52. The universal cell with ammonia as a reaction gas and dynamic bandpass technology removes chlorine base interferences and prevents new ones from forming. As a result, vanadium and chromium can be determined in concentrated hydrochloric acid with low detection limits and outstanding BCs. A long-term stability is equally as important as detection limits and BCs for the methodology to work well. The stability of the Nexion 5000 was evaluated by measuring a 50 ppt spike of 48 elements in 20% hydrochloric acid for over five hours. The plot demonstrates exceptional stability for all elements in all modes. RSDs were less than 4% for all elements, and the drift was within plus minus 15% from the initial reading. The Nexion 5000 can handle concentrated acids very well and produce extremely low BCs and detection limits. Here are simple calibration curves for 12 elements obtained by the method of standard additions in 10% hydrofluoric acid. Estimated BCs are below 2 ppt and detection limits 0.4 ppt or lower. It is worth to remember that levels of BECs and detection limits do not only reflect the performance of the instrument, but also the environment in which it operates and the cleanliness of the tested chemicals. A moment ago, 12 calibration curves were shown in 10% a hydrofluoric acid, and here are 12 calibration curves in 9.8% sulfuric acid. Estimated BCs are below 0.4 ppt and detection limits below 0.7 ppt, 
showing that the Nixon 5000 can handle corrosive and viscous matrices very well. Many elements create cluster ions with gases such as ammonia, oxygen, methane and others. Instead of removing interferences on an analyte mass, the mass shift mode moves an analyte ion as a cluster to a higher mass where no interferences are present. The spectral interference removal using mass shift mode is shown on an example of titanium being analyzed in the presence of sulfur and phosphorus. The primary titanium isotope at mass 48 has 75% abundance. Titanium, sulfur oxide, and phosphorus hydroxide ions are formed in the plasma. Sulfur oxide and titanium hydroxide and low abundance uh, calcium isotope ions create direct spectral interferences on titanium at mass 48. Ions that do not exist on mass 48 are rejected by the Q1. Q1 allows only ions residing on mass 48 to reach the universal cell, so only titanium, sulfur oxide, phosphorus hydroxide will enter the universal cell pressurized with pure ammonia. Ammonia reacts rapidly with titanium ions, creating several cluster ions at high masses. The scan shows 100 ppt titanium, creating strong clusters with ammonia at masses 114 and 131. The analyzing Q3 quadrupole resolves a titanium ammonia cluster ions from other masses and they reach the detector free from spectral interferences and are measured at its desired mass. The product ion scan can help in condition optimization for titanium clusters with ammonia. Concentration of titanium was 1 ppb and two ammonia flows were examined. With the flow of 0.65 ml per minute, the cluster at mass 114 was much higher than the cluster at 131. However, when the ammonia flow increased to 0.9, the situation changed, and now the highest peak with the best sensitivity is at mass 31, as it is shown on the bottom scan. As it was presented on the previous slide, 100% pure ammonia leads to predictable, reproducible titanium ammonia cluster formation. The QID, Q0, can reduce some loading of sulfur and sulfur dioxide ions on Q1 when sulfuric acid is analyzed. In mass shift mode, Q1 allows only ions at mass 48 to reach the universal cell and titanium clusters with ammonia can be measured at selected higher masses. As a result, titanium has outstanding BCs at masses 114 and 131, even in 9.8% sulfuric acid. Similarly to titanium, zinc also creates a cluster with ammonia. The mass shift mode is used to measure zinc ammonia cluster at mass 115, resulting in outstanding BECs and detection limits, even in 10 times diluted sulfuric acid. The Nexion 5000 Multi-quadruple ICPMS delivers superior spectral interference removal and match detection limits and BCs that easily meet the current semi-guidelines and it has uh, a great stability. In summary, the Nexion 5000 is designed to provide the outstanding analytical performance needed for the semiconductor industry today and in the future. 
Please visit our web page dedicated to semiconductor electronic solution, where you can see information about semi industry, our testing solution, and eSeminar library. You can also find us on social media. Today, a virtual Semicon West show is on the way. If you are interested, you can visit our virtual booth. By opening different doors, you can get technical information, chat live with Perkin Elmer expert, see short videos, and even enter a social room. Please feel invited. Thank you for your attention. Aaron and I will be happy now to answer your questions.